Hi there, Maria here with the April Art Journal prompt. So I'm doing the month of April for fun for the monthly prompt for my art group, Art Exploration with Maria Green on Facebook. So I'm trying a different technique here. I chose colors that are spring-like, like bright green, yellow, red, rose, uh, light green you know you think of all the flowers and the leaves and everything is so bright I live in Florida and spring is just about over here but um, the light the light is this super bright clear uh, sparkling is the closest word I can think of and that's hard to to show how a sparkling April, but I'm making this effort here. And at the very end, as far as dotting the pages, I'm trying to fill everything in. I'm using a forest green to fill in uh, pretty much all the white space. So as you can see, there's a lot of mixture. It's kind of like a field of tulips at this point. Or wildflowers. So I let it dry. Here I was testing something. I was going to do an overlay of gold paint. So I wanted to see what it would look like with white mixed. And also if it would re retain its, its shimmer. As you can see, there is not much of a shimmer left once it's mixed with the white. It overpowers the gold. The gold itself is extremely shiny. And, and then I wanted to try it with silver too, silver paint. You can see it's very shiny. It turns into a light gray with the white. If it had the shimmer, it would be so much easier. Like you could get different shades of shimmering paint. But you can use different uh, uh, colors instead of trying to mix the the gold or the shimmer with other opaque colors. There's so many uh, pearlescent colors to choose from. So tie it all together here. I'm using the gold paint. And with a little water, I don't want to totally tone it down. So, But it, it gives unity to the page. I often use white for this purpose, but today I was looking for maximum shimmer. And then it's hard to see. Um, uh, you can't really see it there at the very end. You can see it. So I'm using a green permanent marker to uh, uh, draw out the details that I want to create on this page. So I'm just hand. Uh, randomly drawing these trees with branches. Trees is one of my favorite subjects to use in my art. It's hard to see the green here, but I, I could see it fine.
So I had already done the other side. <clears throat> and it's like as I notice how hard it is. So I'm going to use the white that was left over here. And I am painting the fields that are in between these um, outlines I made. And I, tr I try to get rid of the marker strokes too, to just make it very soft and blend in. And you can still see the background through it. So the trees uh, actually are the only part that will have the dots uh, from the background. It has a very soft quality, which I really liked. So basically, you can use any kind of colors for the background, depending on what you're trying to paint or, or capture. So these are very spring-like colors to me. The white stands for also the clarity and brilliance of the air in springtime. It's before the golden light of summer. Again, I'm trying to show you the shininess here, still coming through on the trees, but uh, it's not working real well with the light. So here I'm using Mod Podge to just spread some uh, over the pages randomly. To get the glittery feeling, I decided to use glitter. This is very fine silver glitter. So I'm putting it on liberally everywhere I put the Mod Podge. And then let that dry. And I'm shaking off the extra glitter here. You can save it or throw it out, depending. Do you want to use it for? So now all the branches are glittering with light. I wanted to write something also to honor the April prompt. So choose a, a, almost a sherbet color, well, it's more, it's a light orange. Almost ran out of paper. Shimmering, sparkling April. So I use the light green to fill in the, the large letters here. That's pretty much it. Check it out. Try your own. Filled with beauty. Glittering, sparkling April filled with beauty. Thank you for watching.